All right, don't panic, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's gonna be okay. So I know there's a lot of new features that we're excited for on Monday for the new MacBook Pros, but sounds like there was another feature uh, we weren't anticipating. Sounds like the new MacBooks uh, might have uh, not. Uh, Okay, so don't panic. I actually think this might not be as bad as you think. Everyone hates the notch. Well, at least some people do. And they can't wait to get rid of it on the iPhone. That way they can stuff a bunch of crap in the top of their display. But honestly, uh, I don't mind the notch. I'm comfortable keeping it around for another two decades if we need to. Because I just don't want to see the carrier name in the corner 24-7. But we've never had this discussion really recently about notches on MacBooks, right? My first impulse, whenever someone brings up the idea of like, hey, should there be a notch on a Mac so that we can have, you know, super thin bezels and whatnot? My typical response is, well, the iPad Pros don't have notches, and they even have Face ID, so if a big display like that can have no notch and still have, you know, a somewhat thin bezel around the border, just a little bit of space for your thumbs, then who cares? But then that brings me to the MacBook Pro argument, because the MacBook Pros, you don't have to hold the display. There doesn't technically need to be a little bit of space for your thumbs to rest like you do with an iPad, and I think the other reason it doesn't really make much sense on an iPad is because you use it in landscape, you use it in portrait. Some people even freaking use it upside down. They're called psychopaths. Seek counseling if you keep using your iPad upside down. But with the MacBooks, you only use them in one orientation, right? There's no, like, landscape and portrait. There's just, you open it and that's it. But that's not a good enough reason to include the notch. So let's look at things from a bit more of an optimistic viewpoint because I've actually given this a fair bit of thought before pressing the record button. The truth is... I still view a notch more so as an extension of the display that allows your screen content to feel more immersive because now the widgets like the time and your cellular icons and the battery and whatnot, all of that gets to be pushed up to the very, very tip top of your phone. That means that it intrudes less on your apps in the content you're viewing. And I actually think the Mac, believe it or not, might be better at handling a notch than the iPhone because for one, these new MacBook Pros, despite having a notch, are likely not gonna have face ID. I mean, it's it's possible there's another last minute change coming, but I'm pretty sure that this notch would just be accommodating, you know, a microphone in a front facing camera. Hopefully that camera has center stage. And if you look at most Macs, they have a menu bar across pretty much the entire user interface that pretty much, at least if you use dark mode, stays grayed out or at least fairly out of the way from most of your content. And, and some people are thinking, well, full screen apps, you know, if you press a little green button on your Mac and the app takes up the entire display. Won't the notch cut in on things? There's buttons in that part of Final Cut and Logic, and there's specific apps you're probably used to using that have icons up there. They're gonna get intruded on by the notch. This is going to ruin everything, right? Well, if we base the leaked resolutions we got earlier, and we know that this is supposed to be a larger display, even than the 16-inch MacBook Pro, assuming the PPI doesn't change, this might actually be better, because right now, when you full screen an application, it kind of erases the menu bar, and you raise your mouse all the way up there to bring the menu bar back down. Similar to the iPhone, I think we could look at this more so as a display extension, not so much a notch intrusion, because this should allow extremely thin bezels, thinner even than the iPad Pro, all the way around the display, not just the sides. So if you check out a 16-inch MacBook Pro, you'll discover the side bezels are pretty dang thin, but the forehead bezel, that's gotta be pretty thick, and it's partially because of that webcam. So now, if they extend the display on the sides, and of course, relatively, the size of the notch on a MacBook is much, much smaller than the size of a notch on an iPhone. This is going to allow Apple to put menu bars and all of the top widgets where you see, you know, the volume settings and your battery and the calendar, whatever other widgets you have in your menu bar, that can now be pushed up to the very, very tip top of the display, allowing your full screen apps to be still fully accessible and all of the same buttons are going to be there. But now you don't have to raise your mouse and hit the top of the display in order to activate that menu bar to drop down. The menu bar can just stay there. And sure, it'll be blacked out because this is a mini LED display, so the true blacks should be very, very dark. This is not an LCD MacBook. And because of that, it should be pretty easy to focus on your content. And also keep in mind, nobody is watching 16 by 10 videos. Pretty much most video content is 16 by 9, which means that on the MacBook Pros, you're gonna have black bars anyway. And some people record at 2 by 1 or even wider aspects 
aspect ratio so you're gonna have even bigger black bars on the macbook pros if you're watching that type of content so unlike the notch with the iphone you're not going to be cutting into videos or using it multiple orientations so i wouldn't really worry about it intruding on much the more i think about it as bizarre as it sounds and i know our first impulse is to go oh crap no i don't want a notch on the mac this actually should allow for better user experiences because it means apple's going to be pushing more content to the very very top of the screen allowing it to not have to intrude on your apps and because the menu bar on most macs is almost always blacked out or gray the notch should be pretty hard to notice so yeah don't panic ladies and gentlemen first of all you know this could end up being incorrect as we've seen this year you can't really trust that many of the leaks but this one does seem pretty legit according to some of the tools apple has launched with mac os in xcode this year and a lot of the leaked supply components on the inside of the macbook it seems like it is happening it's looking fairly likely given we're only two days away from the announcement and there's people dropping this stuff but end of the day it is still just a random weibo account but duan ri who is not a leaker himself but promotes other people's leaks that he believes to be accurate he's the one reporting on this and i know everyone wants to get all paranoid and scared but just think about how much space and how intrusive that menu bar can be on current max now that gets to be pushed out of the way so not the end of the world in my opinion i'm still super interested in buying one and as long as it results in thin bezels all the way around i'm kind of interested to see how this display looks it encourages the idea that we're going to get a 17 inch macbook pro at this event which is epic so feel free to let me know how you guys are panicking when it comes to the notch on the new macbook pros is this a deal breaker are you guys out of the market now feel free to let me know down below this is your option here i'll see you guys in the next one